Hi kids, my name is Coach Dave, and I'm here to teach you the ins and outs of your very first playbook. Let's start with the basics, we'll go over positions and what that player's job is. First you have the five players up front known as the offensive line. You have a left tackle, a left guard, a center, a right guard, and a right tackle. These five players are responsible for protecting the quarterback and opening up running lanes for your running backs and wide receivers. Without them, the offense wouldn't be successful. For this reason, many say they are the most important part of the offense. Next you have your wide receivers and tight ends. These are labeled in your base formation as X, W, Y, and Z, with your X receiver being positioned to the left as the furthest player from and in line with the quarterback. Your W receiver, or tight end, lines up to the left of the quarterback and in line with the offensive line. Together with the Y receiver positioned to the right of the quarterback and in line with the offensive line, this will create a seven-man front. Finally, we have the Z receiver which positions himself to the right of and in line with the quarterback. Wrapping up the skill positions, we have the running back. Together with the receivers and tight ends, these players are responsible for catching, running, blocking, and even throwing on rare occasions. These players are typically some of the fastest on the team, the most agile, and have the best hands. Finally, it's the quarterback. This position leads the offense. They will control the flow, call plays, put skill players in position to make plays, throw the ball, and sometimes run as well. It is important that this player understands the offense better than any other player on the team. They need to know where everyone is on the field and what everyone's responsibilities are. So there you have it. This is your base offense that we will refer to as Jet. This particular formation is called the double wing. This formation uses misdirection in an attempt to disrupt and distract the defense and allow for a power running attack using the running back or speed sweeps with the X and Z receivers. Whenever you hear your coaches refer to double wing, this is how the players should line up. It is important to know where you need to be and line up quickly and efficiently so that the offense as a whole can be well prepared for the upcoming play. The plays we will be running out of the double wing are the following. X motion dive, X sweep, Z motion dive, Z sweep, and finally a quarterback bootleg off either X or Z motion for a total of six different runs. The dive play calls are run plays where the running back will get the ball and run towards the X or Z side. The sweep plays are used to get speed runs for the X and Z receivers, and finally the bootleg runs are meant to keep the defense off balance with quarterback runs towards the X and Z sides of the formation. There's a few key movements that need to be done on each and every play to make the jet series all work. We need to have motion on every play. This will come from either the X or Z receiver when in double wing formation. Motion can also come from the W and Y receivers in other formations, but will be discussed later on. We also need to have movement from the running back. On run play calls, the running back will be diving or running towards the side where the motion came from. During X play calls, the running back will run towards the X or left side. During Z play calls, the running back will run towards the Z or right side of the formation. Finally, our last important movement comes from the quarterback position. Sometimes a bootleg call will be made where the quarterback will actually run the ball. So to make sure the defense is always paying attention to the quarterback, he needs to bootleg with or without the ball on each and every play. The direction on which he bootlegs will be in the same direction that the motion is running. X motions towards the right, the quarterback bootlegs to the right. Z motions towards the left, the quarterback will bootleg towards the left. This will open up plays in the passing game later on. Now let's get everyone in formation and run a play. Let's start with our running back dive plays. Double wing X dive. Ready. Break. The play has now been called in the huddle. Double wing X dive. Now let's break this down. We're in double wing formation, our X receiver is the one running in motion, our running back is getting the ball and running towards the same side the X receiver started from. Our quarterback will turn, hand the ball off to the running back, 
then bootleg towards the right side. At this point your running back will have the ball. Some of your offensive line, as well as your W receiver, will be blocking and trying to open up holes for the running back. Let's watch how this will work with a defense in place. Five defenders will line up opposite of each offensive lineman. These players need to be back one and a half yards away from the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage is an imaginary line across the field at where the ball is being snapped from. The remaining six defenders must be at least four yards away from this line. It's time to see the play in action. Double wing X dive. Remember, this is a run designed for the running back where the X receiver is the motion man and the quarterback will bootleg towards the Z or right side of the formation. Ready. As you can see, the ready call becomes the signal for motion. Hike. The remaining players move on the snap of the ball. The running back, who is carrying the ball on this play, will use his W receiver, left tackle, and left guard in an attempt to either run outside or break through a hole that's been created inside. Let's go over the next play. Double wing X sweep, and this time the receiver in motion will be getting the ball. This run is designed to get the ball outside as quickly as possible using faster receivers. As you can see, the play is set up exactly the same. The movements are the same from all players, but the only difference is who carries the ball. The X receiver will use his right guard, right tackle, Y and Z receivers to get chunk yardage to the outside. We have one more run with our X receiver in motion and that's the double wing X bootleg. This is the play where the quarterback will actually be the ball carrier. Again, movement is the same through all of our X motion plays. This keeps the defense honest at all times without alarming them on any different movements between plays. The quarterback will have five blockers ahead of him on this play as the X receiver joins in on the fun. Now it's time to look at our Z motion plays. These plays will have our Z receiver as the motion man. Again, movements will be the same throughout all Z motion plays. Double wing Z dive. The running back will be the ball carrier and dive or run right instead of towards the left. This time, he will be looking for his right guard, right tackle, and Y receiver to block so that he can break it outside or run in between the blocks. We continue our Z motion plays with double wing Z sweep. This is our outside speed run towards the left side of the formation. Again, the same movements and motion on each and every play. Consistency with this package is key when trying to outthink the defense. With the ball in our Z receiver's hands, he will look to his X and W receivers as well as his left tackle and left guard for a big play opportunity to the outside. Lastly, we have the double winged Z bootleg. I may sound like a broken record at this point, but again, the movements are the same. Say it with me. Consistency. Double wing formation. Our Z receiver is our motion man, and the ball carrier this time will be the bootleg or quarterback. With five blockers up front, the quarterback will look to gain some easy yards by using the wall of players in front of him. The bootleg runs give the offense the most blockers, but also take the longest to develop. That wraps up the running portion of the double wing formation out of the Jet series. To review, we have six designed run plays out of this formation. Two dives, two sweeps, and two bootlegs. Our motion players out of this formation come from the X and Z receivers. The running back must dive or run on every play. And our quarterback needs to bootleg on every play with or without the ball. I hope you have found this short video fun and helpful. We will continue to add plays as we learn and go along. Remember to always be respectful to your teammates, your coaches, and most importantly, your parents. Good luck on the upcoming season. Coach Mike, Joe, James, and Rob are looking forward to having you. Be consistent, practice hard, and enjoy yourselves. Go Warriors!